Okay, so, um, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, African Hair God. I am getting on here making this video from my phone, obviously, um, because my laptop is broken. So, I'm currently in the works of getting it fixed. The parts are being shipped out, so until that happens, I can't really edit videos. So, this is kind of just sort of a quick little heads up. Um, and um, special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. Um, your donations have really helped. They definitely went towards getting this laptop fixed. Henny is actually helping me fix the laptop. I had to purchase the parts, and that was actually much more expensive than you would think. So greatly, greatly appreciate my patrons. If you are able to, I mean, you would like to support, please um, check out my Patreon page. The link should be in the description. If it's not then you'll probably have to check the previous um, video because I've never really uploaded a video from the phone before. But um, yeah, you're probably looking at my hair like, what, what, what is this? Okay, so before I get into that, um, this is, I guess this is so somewhat of a five month hair update, but it technically isn't because you can't see my hair. But um, I had Henny install these straight back feed in braids. So it does have um, hair addition it's fed into the hair to give a more, I guess I could just flip the camera towards me, but I guess, whatever. For a more natural look, so you don't see where the hair is added in. You know, that's really popular now. But I had her do it very modestly so that it would look very, very natural. Now, um, I just came from skating and I rinsed my hair. So, let me do this. I rinsed my hair and um, my hair was actually kind of poking through the braids already. But rinsing my hair hasn't really disturbed the hair much, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, I wanted to definitely rinse the sweat from my scalp, and um, I guess that's going to be my routine, and I'll cleanse my hair with shampoo once a week. Um, and what I did after I rinsed my hair is I used the Asha Mandela Hair Growth Solutions, I guess I should just do this, um, leave-in moisturizer. Um, and I just spray that directly on my hair and scalp. Now she says this isn't for your scalp, it's for your hair, but I find that it works great for both my hair and scalp, so that's why I use it. Now should my scalp get dry, then I'll um, go in between the parts and hit it with the Jamaican black castor oil um, that I've been using thus far. And um, yeah, so uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know um, about the whole laptop situation. Um, I do also want to say um, I really, really am glad that the previous video on texture discrimination I did uh, was received really, really well. Sometimes I get really concerned about doing videos like that because a lot of people tend to take it the wrong way and run a whole completely different direction. But I think the majority of you were able to see that I came from a positive place. Um, some people felt like I was throwing people under the bus. I don't know how you, how y'all felt I was throwing people under the bus. Like, because I mentioned her name. I don't even think, like, I I don't think I said her name in correlation to what I previously discussed in the video. But y'all already had it in y'all heads. Y'all knew who I was talking about. And y'all just put two and two together after I said her name and put it. Like, we're not going to play these games. Like, we, everyone knew who I was talking about when I mentioned the video. So, I don't understand why I'm classless. And I'm messy because I said her name even though we all knew who I was talking about. Like, we're not going to play guessing games. If we're going to be real, we're going to be all the way real. Um, and I, it wasn't to come at her again. It was just my opinion, my perspective on things. And, you know, she saw the video. She said I lied about something. I, I don't know. She didn't elaborate on what I lied about. But, um, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. We're not trying to start any YouTube drama. But, um... Yeah, so I think the majority of you all got the message that I was trying to convey in the texture discrimination video, which was self-love. Um, and just to elaborate a little bit further on that, I understand the reason why we've gotten to this point of hating our hair and things like that, but we can't focus on that. We need to focus on building ourselves up and not just being so stuck on, well, racism and colorism and this and that, and my family doesn't like my hair, my job hates my hair. Like, that's all great and dandy, but... Are you going to love your hair to the point where all of that doesn't even matter? Because that's what self-love is. Self-love. That means it's not contingent upon how others feel about oneself. 
Um, so I think once we reach a point where we can do that, then, you know, we'll be able to beat texture discrimination and hopefully we won't have to even talk about this issue, but, um, yeah, my hair is still wet. That's why I ain't got no shirt on. I don't know. Y'all think I'm just out here trying to put my goodies out here or something, but, um, yeah, so, um, that's pretty much it.